Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing a double din radio install in the factory location of this 2011 Civic. In this install, we're going to show you how to remove this factory radio, assemble the new pieces, including the dash kit and the wiring harness, and we're going to show you how to put it all back in. Provo Beast Audio Installation channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST. Now the first thing we're going to do is get this removed. Now don't forget to remove your CDs because this is the time to do so. Um, it's really one big piece. Now we'll have to transfer over a lot of the components to the new dash kit. We'll show you how to do that on the bench. But the first thing we need to do is actually pull the whole piece out as a whole. Um, now, here we have a couple of clips that surround. So we'll just pop that on up. Now, as you can see, there's just a couple of clips holding that in. And what that will do is give us enough room to get the radio out because it's a layered approach. Now, once that's all popped on off, um, you're going to want to pop down a little cover down up underneath, which will expose two screws. These two scrolls really hold the, the whole piece in together. Um, you're going to remove those two and you can fill them up underneath. Now they're also, besides being a Phillips head, they're also um, a bolt shape as well. So you can use a socket to pull those out. Let's remove those two. Okay, so what we did, it's tough. With an 8 millimeter, when you pop down the lower cover that's up underneath this little cover you just kind of get up underneath and it pops down and you can fill up under here there are two screws they look like this they're little eight millimeter screws and what we did is we have a, you can use a ratchet we have just have an angle for our drill with the uh, eight millimeter and we just undid that now of course if, if you don't have that use a ratchet that works too now using a panel tool, after you move those two bolts, you kind of get up underneath, and that radio will begin to kind of rock free. Just like so. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure the negative is off the battery. Uh, you have an airbag light here, and it would be upsetting to trip that airbag light on the dash where you may have to go to the dealer to get that cleared. So what we're gonna do is now unplug this because we've removed the negative off our battery. Move all the harnesses. And there we are, all is one piece. Now what we'll need to do is head over to the bench because there's some of these components that we have to pull out of the factory kit to our aftermarket kit and uh, get the new stereo all wired up. So let's head over. All right, so for our Civic install, some of the parts that we're gonna need here are our Skosh wiring harness. Now this is HA10B. This is a basic wiring harness adapter. Uh, we don't have steering wheel controls in this Civic, so we didn't have to retain those. Um, this is the main wiring harness that came with our radio, the Sony over here. So this is what we're gonna do to start marrying up colors. We also need an antenna adapter. We picked up the Metra 40-HD10 10 adapter for Honda Civic. And that's about it besides the dash kit. Now this dash kit came in a big box, it's from Skosh. Now we went with the gray model. There's generally three different colors that come with um, this Skosh kit. Now we chose the gray one. Um, it's the HA1561DGB. It's the Atlas gray, um, kind of that middle one that we went with. You can also get a taupe and a blue. So it kind of just depends on the color of your interior, but you can match it. So we picked this one up because our interior is gray. And essentially that kit comes with everything that we need um, to get the new radio installed. Now the first thing we're going to do here on the bench 
is get our new radio all wired up. Now we have our soldering iron nice, nice and hot. We're gonna solder and heat shrink up on the bench. And uh, basically, like I said, we're gonna be matching colors up. There's just a couple of colors that may differ just slightly. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what differs. Um, but we need to also wire in our power antenna. This is our antenna adapter and that has to be wired in as well. And that's it, so let's get started. All right, so we spent a few minutes and got everything soldered up. Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube if you're wondering how to solder, um, but what we also did is put our little heat shrink um, on the ends, and what we're gonna do is just slide them up over our connections so everything's nice and insulated there, and then we'll use a heat gun to shrink that down. Um, like I said, a couple special connections. Our Civic requires a powered antenna, which that's why we have the adapter here. We just tie that into the accessory red wire. And so when the car is on, that essentially provides uh, power to the amplified circuit for the antenna. Um, the other special one is since this is a Sony, generally Sony's with the parking brake wire, you can just ground, which we did. We just tied that into the ground as well. Um, everything else is color for color. Blue white is your amplifier turn on. We don't have an amplifier to turn on, so we're gonna put a, a butt, butt connector on there just so we can access that down the road. Um, but that's also nice and insulated. And purple white, we are doing a backup camera, so we will ensure that we connect into that, but that's gonna be a separate video. We'll have a link down in the description for that. Now on the Scotch side of the harness, you will have a couple extra ones. Uh, generally speaking, brown is a, a mute, uh, but we're not using it. Uh, pink can be, depending on the features of your car, like a vehicle speed sense wire. Um, orange is orange black is a dimmer or a illumination ground, which we don't need. Um, black white is usually an amplifier ground, and then um, green white can be um, connection for your steering wheel controls. It all depends on the trim level here. So we don't need any of these. We're just going to cap them off with heat shrink so they don't ground out on anything. Um, after that, let's get all our heat shrink on. We're gonna wrap up our harness. Basically, the wiring is done. And next, we're gonna assemble our kit. All right, heat shrink's all on. Looks nice and clean. Now we're using some Tessa tape just to protect and wrap up the wire. So we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, there we are. There's our nice harness. It looks factory, and that's what we want. Nice and clean. Here's our antenna plug here. So basically, the wiring's done. We left this out, of course, to add an amplifier later on. And so we're doing a backup camera. That's our trigger wire that we need to also hook up. Now, if you have any questions on the fundamentals of a backup camera, we have a great video for it. We'll throw a link in the description. Okay, so we have the factory kit and the aftermarket kit. We're essentially going to be using a Phillips um, and transferring all our components over to the new kit.
there you go pretty cool that looks really nice thumbs work great and that fits in just perfect let's head over to the car and begin getting this thing installed for the Bluetooth mic, we just mounted it here on the E-pillar and just ran the cable down the seal. And since we had to loosen this up to get the factory radio out anyways, it was a perfect little spot to go up underneath this panel, up and over the gauge cluster, up and over the vent, down through, and this will plug into the back of our radio. Now we do have our harness all hooked up. That's all ready to connect into the back of our new radio. At this point, it's time for reassembly. Um, we're going to test the radio, make sure everything works. Um, we'll get our airbag all plugged back in and then put the negative back on the battery before we start the car. Okay, so we went and plugged everything in on the back. Um, essentially here, don't forget any of the harnesses. We got our backup camera, our mic, our main harness here, um, as well as our antenna wire, all connected to the radio. We also plugged in our... Uh, HVAC controls, our airbag light, and our hazard switch. We tested it. We know it works great. It sounds really, really nice. Let's go ahead and put this behind this panel, get it clipped into place, and then we can click back in the panel that goes over our gauges. Okay, all reassembled. Just have factory speakers in here. But it sounds great. That's it for this install. If you have any questions about installing this radio, let's go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks, guys, for watching the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.